Are you looking for a chassis system that's robust, functional, and also a work of art? If so, look no further than Wooks Chassis. If you guys want to help support the channel, don't forget to check out Mason Leather, linked in the description below. Use code WOLF10 and get 10% off your entire purchase. Does phenomenal leather. We've got his leather on our lever guns and absolutely love it. Super quality, really good stuff. And then also Big Daddy Unlimited. Use our affiliate link below, go sign up, and they are a phenomenal company to work with and they are revolutionizing the online gun store. You get firearms, ammo, accessories, the whole nine yards and everything is at industry leading prices. I mean, nobody can beat what they've got going right now. It is really a great deal. Before we get started with the chassis, I'll do a quick review of the items on the rifle itself because I know some of you guys will ask. This is a standard Remington 700 barreled action. It's an SPS tactical 308, 16 and a half inch barrel with a Lantac Dragon 762 break up front. I've got a Harris bipod up front as well as Boscable Weapon Systems Harris Bipod Foot Adapters, which allow you to interchange the feet. I've got their spikes on here. You can see an installation video for this linked right up here. Uh, on top, we have Ride On Optics X5 Conquer 5 to 25 by 50 glass. Extremely crystal clear glass, guys. I've shot it out to 850 yards. It's spot on, dead on accurate, really does a good job. I got Ride On Optics Rings by Contessa Mounts, and then I've got a Badger Ordnance 20 MOA steel base. You've got Hawkins Precision uh, M5 style bottom metal. And then I've got a KRG bolt lift and a Trigger Tech Remington 700 two-stage flat trigger, their new trigger, really nice, extremely crisp, definitely a good investment, guys. Uh, beautiful chassis. I absolutely love these chassis. This and the Furiosa that we're gonna look at next, they did an extremely good job of these. The checkering on the pistol grip area and the forend is just extremely nice. It's not a heavy, it's almost like a, a sanding disc, it's, but it's not super aggressive. It really is very tactile, easy to hold on to when your hands are sweaty. Just, they did a really good job. One thing I really like, yes guys, the rifle is clear by the way. One thing I really like is the adjustable comb. You've got a screw right here you can loosen up with a supplied key. When you loosen it up, it is very easy to remove. You've got aluminum posts that come down into an aluminum block and it sandwiches around these posts, locks it down very securely. It's not gonna go anywhere when you lock it down. And it's just a really nice aesthetic. I love the walnut look on this. They did a great job with it. And then you've got adjustable length of pull with some spacers at the back, set it once and you're done. And then of course a pick rail on the bottom back if you wanna put a monopod or something like that back there or an adjustable bag rider. And then also they supply a QD sling mount for the mount on the left side of the rifle. Just really a nice setup, works well with bull barrels, obviously. And they have another model that we don't have, and that is the Wildman. It is really good hunting setup as well because it's not super heavy, it's not big and bulky, it's more of your Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo style. Uh, just excellent design. I love how they inlaid the walnut with the aluminum. It's very streamlined and it looks like it belongs. They did an extremely nice job of laying all this together. It's a very good fit and finish and I can't brag on it enough. They've got little nice things like on the bottom of the pistol grip here. It says Wooks on the inside of the barrel channel. They've actually got Wooks uh, laser engraved on the aluminum bar that runs through there. And just, like I said, really nice setup. Oh, also on the bottom of this, we have M-Lock. So I've got an M-Lock adapter to put the Harris bipod on here and works extremely well on the Furiosa. You'll see they have down both sides as well. It's more of your tactical line of chassis. Um, I know guys are gonna ask about magazine compatibility with the Harris or the Hawkins system, sorry. And I've got three different mags here. I have your standard Magpul that everybody has and Magpul mags ride in nice and easy. They don't exactly drop free though. As you can see, there's not enough weight. Even with this 10 rounder, it doesn't drop free. Five round fits just fine. And again, it won't drop free as well. 
We've got a MDT chassis. This is a 12 round steel mag and it locks in perfectly fine and it drops free just fine because there's plenty of weight there. The only place I ran into any issues with magazines is the MDT polymer mag, the windowed polymer mag. It has a steel feed lip area around the top and the way it's designed on the front of this mag, there are two pieces of metal that come together and mine wasn't perfectly like dead flat across the front. So with that, when I went to feed it, as you can see right here, it's kind of grabbing. And that is that little lip on the front grabbing on the inside of here. And it just barely grabs at the bottom and you can force it in there, but you do have to work to get it in there. It's not like the steel of the polymer mag from Magpul. So just keep that in mind when you're buying magazines. I love the steel ones. They are phenomenal, just rock solid. You're not going to break these things. And Magpul ones are great too, especially when you're on a budget. But just keep that in mind when you are buying something like this, that the magazine compatibility with, and that as obviously you saw how tight that was, you've got to pull this out. So the polymer ones that have the steel feed lips, they're very robust and give you a good, uh, good feed lip security, but keep that in mind with your fitment. But other than that, I've had zero issues. And obviously, you know, the chassis, it looks great. It runs great. And that's about all the features on this one. We're going to do a more in-depth review. I just want to do an overview video showing you guys both these chassis. And we'll do a more in-depth review on each one, shooting each one and showing you how they work and just talking more about the fit and feel out in the field. But that's enough for this. Let's switch over to the Furiosa. And guys, this is the Furiosa line of their chassis. This is the more tactical high-end line. And they offer it in the uh, Walna as well but I went with the Furiosa in my card of black on this because I thought it just looked awesome. Lends more to the tactical feel of the rifle, and I like the M-Lock slots down the side on the Furiosa. They look really nice, especially with the black. It all just kind of blends together. And if you notice, the rifle's kind of short. That's because the buttstock actually pops off. You push this button, it pops right off of there. Also, you have push button comb adjustment, and it just slides in and out very easily. Once you lock it down, very secure. Same with length of pull push that button in and adjust it wherever you need. Really nice, quick and easy toolless adjustment. Again, just like the other, you have a QD sling mount. You can use the supplied one or use your own QD sling. It runs through, so you've got access to both sides for that one. And you have a pick rail on the bottom if you want to put a monopod back there or an adjustable bag rider. So really a very nice setup. And I love that this pops off because it makes it a lot easier to carry when you've got a long rifle set up on it and it just pops right together and you're good to go very quick and easy. And other than that, it's just about the same, uh, except this is micarta, which I love. I think it's awesome because, you know, this is kind of impervious to anything now. Between the aluminum and the micarta, you put a good barreled action on here and you're good to go with something that's gonna hold up to any weather conditions you're gonna be in. On this one, I do have a AccuTac SR5 G2, but I'm not gonna tell you guys about the rifle yet. This is brand new and we're gonna do a video specifically on it. Definitely gonna be a lot of fun to shoot. Really excited about putting it to work and we'll do that video very soon. Same uh, detachable mag system here as well, the Hawkins M5 style. So remember about the magazines, you know, be careful what you buy, but the steel and the mag pull work great, no issues whatsoever. This is a polymer mag as well and zero issues. One of the things that really drew me to this chassis was the skeletonized buttstock. I absolutely love the look of this. It's just, it's sexy. That's all there is to it, especially in this black Marcarta. It looks amazing. And I'm really looking forward to putting this thing to work. And we're looking at doing some competitions with this rifle. And I think this is going to turn a lot of heads. Up front, you know, we've got the M-Lock all the way around, bottom and sides. So you don't have any room for that texturing. But we do have that nice texturing that was on the walnut back here on the Micarta pistol grip as well. And it, it really is a good grip surface. It's not too aggressive that it's going to take your skin off. But it is very secure, very positive. Lets you get a really tactile grip on it. And with this Micarta Black, it just... It's such a seamless appearance. Everything's just beautiful. I love it. And especially the carbon fiber barrel, I think blends extremely nicely with it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a quick rundown on these two chassis. And like I said, we'll be putting them into work soon and go through a little more detail on these and the ins and outs of them and just let you know how we feel after putting quite a few rounds down range. Yes, it'll be expensive with current ammo prices, but we're going to do it for you guys. And hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for stopping by. Check back soon. We're going to have a lot more coming. Have a good one, guys.